So you decided that iOS 6 was not for you and you want to downgrade back to iOS 5.1.1. Well, thankfully, there is absolutely nothing hindering you from doing so. Actually, downgrading back to iOS 5.1.1 is as easy as pie, as easy as easy gets. All you do is you plug your device into your computer, you put your device into DFU mode like this, hold home and power for 10 seconds. Once you have finished holding home and power for 10 seconds, release the power button, continue holding home for 10 more seconds and then release the home button, and then your screen should say should stay black just like this. It should not bring back the Apple logo. It should just stay black. Once you have done that, then head over to your computer, open up iTunes, and you'll probably see a notification saying it needs to be restored, etc. Hold the Option key or Shift key if you're using Windows, click on Restore, and then find your 5.1.1 firmware file. So I'm going to find that right now, iPhone 4S. And where is it? There it is. The iOS 5.1.1 IPSW file. Select that. Click on restore. And then just let this baby rock and roll. And that's all you have to do. Literally, that's all you have to do. There's no editing any uh, host files or anything like that. Uh, that's all you do. Literally, is you just restore your device just like that and you're good to go. Because Apple is obviously still signing the 5.1.1 firmware because iOS 6 is not officially released yet, it's still in beta. So you can freely go back down to iOS 5.1.1 and as easy as easy gets. Now once this goes through preparing iPhone for restore, etc., you should see a little loading bar under the Apple logo on your device eventually. And we'll head over to our device here in just a second and you should see that here. So give it a few seconds and we will wait it out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up really, really fast. As soon as we get to our iPhone, there's our iPhone and with the Apple logo and the loading bar. And then you're going to see this loading bar just speed through here because I've sped things up just to make it quick for you guys. And I don't bore you to death. Your device will take significantly longer than what you see right here. So just keep that in mind. Don't expect this loading bar to go across that quickly. It'll probably take you, you know, about 10 minutes to complete the restore. So there is my iPhone back to the splash screen and I'll go ahead and get this all set up with my Wi-Fi information and start using iPhone. And there you go, folks. That is how you downgrade back to iOS 5.1.1 from iOS 6. It's that easy. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.